All right, hello, Arsenal America and the rest of the world. We are enjoying Mardi Gras in New Orleans. I, I take that back. We're enjoying Gooner Gras in New Orleans. I'm with Duncan, who's a sergeant of arms with the crew of Arsenal. Uh, we're at the gorgeous NOLA Brewery in God knows where in New Orleans, but we're having a great time. How are you doing tonight? I'm doing awesome tonight, and we're in the Irish Channel. That's a, the neighborhood is Irish Channel and Chapatulas. And um, I'm doing awesome tonight. It's, I'm just having tons of fun. It's, uh, we've been planning this forever, and it's so great to actually have Gunnar Graal be happening now, and it's, and it's, it's gonna be an epic weekend. Now this is your second Gunnar Graal. You started last year, 2014. That's it was great. more local, and a few people from out of, the, out of the area showed up. Can you tell me a little bit about that and how this has exploded to what's gonna become an epic event in the upcoming years? Yeah, okay, absolutely. Um, Last year, I know um, Arsenal America had their, their regional meetup in Las Vegas, and um, other people were like, all right, Las Vegas is cool, but we should have something like maybe like in New Orleans, because New Orleans is one hell of a city. Um, it's, it's great. And um, so we kind of threw something together in a month, and we had um, the first annual Gunnar in 2014. And we had people, um, we, we had people, some people from all over, I'm from Chicago, Austin, and um, Arizona that came down. And um, from there, it was like, all right, this is awesome. This is the first annual. Now let's see how we can build on that. And um, for next year, let's see how we can um, make it better. Um, one of the crazy, um, New York was a big um, stepping stone for us. Yeah. Uh, I guess for Gunnar Grau 2015 because we knew we were going to have 20 um, Gunnar Grau 2015 but we kind of didn't know when but a big group of us went up to New Orleans um, to New York to, um, to see Arsenal play the Red Bulls and a lot of people were like hey when's when's Gunnar Grau when's the next Gunnar Grau going to be and uh, and like so we like kind of like we were in a bar in between the Flying Pig and O'Hanlon's and like we like sat down and we're like, all right, when do we, we let's let, let's announce something, you know? Let's we're let's announce when we're gonna have Gunnar Gras. and so we we looked at one of the big things we wanted to do that we didn't do last year was really encompass Mardi Gras, because Mardi Gras really makes the city, and it's it's a great thing for out of towners to experience because it's a it's a great thing, and so last year we didn't really have like we uh, we call it Gunnar Gras. But we didn't, we didn't really encompass any Mardi Gras. And we wanted to encompass Mardi Gras this year. And um, one of our, a lot of our favorite parade is Crew de Vue. It's three weeks before um, Fat Tuesday. And it is like the official start of the parade and Mardi Gras season. And so we looked and we we're like, all right, let's encompass Gunnar Gras around Crew de Vue. And um, so when we saw Crew de Vue was going to be this weekend, we're like, all right, that's going to be the weekend for Gunnar Graal. One of the um, things about being a crew is um, you guys have to do some fundraising. Is that part of your, your pledge of being a crew, so to say? How does that work? Because you're called a crew, and to me, that sounds like it has a special meaning. Well, crew is a very New Orleans thing. Um, it encompasses all of Mardi Gras. Um, Mardi Gras is a bunch of parades that are thrown... Um, all around and like and they have balls or whatever and I guess you could call this the Gunnar Gras ball um, that encompass Mardi Gras and like each parade is put on by a different crew so you'll have like the crew of Orpheus the crew of Bacchus the crew of Endymion and so like the word crew spelled with a K K-R-E-W we, we spell things a little different down here in uh, New Orleans um, that that just like kind of encompasses in New Orleans, and so like when we when we just we we discuss creating a group here in New Orleans for the crew um, for of Arsenal supporters, we wanted to encompass New Orleans, and that's where we brought in the 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 crew, the throwing in the name of crew, and um, and um, the the charitable aspect. It's just something like we're all. We all want to give back. We all love our city, and um, we want to we want to see it better. And um, so last year we um, we we raised money for YLCK 
YLC Kicks, which is a local organization that brings soccer to, um, to youth of all the area, as well as Youth Run NOLA, which is another organization that promotes getting active and getting out there and, and um, being active. And um, so last year, like we were like we threw together uh, a little charitable thing, and we raised um, I want to say like fifteen hundred, fifteen hundred dollars for that. And then it's like, well, we got to do it. We definitely got. We try to get, try to go beyond that for this year. And I know as as of today, we've we've raised over two thousand dollars for our um, charitable aspect. And you have another raffle tonight and a raffle to, on, on Sunday morning. Yes. So you guys hopefully should raise at least $2,500 for local charities. That, 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 is, that is totally the plan. Um, and I, um, I, um. <laughs> you're, you're lost for words. I'll say it. That's what being a gooner is about, is supporting be your local gooner, being Be a gooner, be a giver. That's it. Be a gooner, be a giver. Now, you said the other day, earlier today, sorry, folks, that you had a few people last time from out of state. Now, I know we got L.A. gooners. I've seen some New York gooners out here. I um, Some guys coming from D.C., Chicago. Chicago, Kansas City, Colorado, San Francisco, Calgary. We're even going international this year, you know? We got people from Canada coming down, um, as well as San Antonio and, I believe, Tallahassee. Okay, so and that's, I mean, if, if you're seeing this and you're like, I came to Gunagra and you didn't mention my, my city, I, I, I'm, I'm sorry, um, we, we've, we got people from all over coming. Uh, I think the target next year, we need some people from London out here. That, that is true. That, that is totally true. We do have a local, um, Stephen Feely. He is um, from London originally, and, but now is, lives here in um, New Orleans. But definitely, I, I would totally agree that we need to have some um, some London flair. Well, I'm looking forward to a great week. And all I can say now is I'm going to go find that all-you-can-eat jambalaya. Yes. Have a great night. And thank you for putting this on for us. No worries. Um, you guys enjoy. Um, it's going to be one exemplary weekend. I can't wait for it all. Cheers. Thanks.